apparently this was just hilarious. If you <laughs> if you read books at Lancaster High School, the football players who are six foot three and make fun of That's kids just with autism. That's forehead. That's six foot three. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> poor Penny. <laughs> um, well. Yell at five foot tall little girls for reading books and say they have no lives because they read these things with pages of words. Like, oh yeah, you you sit in the corner and read books. And that was my insult that I got that day, and I, I said thank you for that insult because I would rather be in my corner reading my book than associating with them. People who think it's okay to mock the mentally retarded. Not only does Lancaster have a rap problem, but there's a drug problem in Lancaster. There is. An actual intense drug Heroin. problem. Heroin. At least probably seven kids we graduated with were in rehab. Five were pregnant. It is, ridiculous. it is very laughable. I would like you to go to Google or some internet source and look up Lancaster. And just read something about it, and you'll find it laughable that there are any heroin addicts residing. Read the tax forms or something. You can get <laughs> a census from Lancaster. You'll see that the average income is $100,000 in our town slash village. But these kids somehow find the need to listen to rap music. That's <laughs> like, I was shot up at the club With in the ghetto, and, and I live in the projects. They're bitches and hoes as a 13-year-old from the middle school that they like to attract. And get pregnant. And get pregnant. They like to knock up the 12 and 13-year-olds. And of course it's easy to find because what insecure 12 or 13-year-old girl wouldn't go for a high school man? And most 12 and 13-year-old girls around here look like they're about 16 or 17 and flaunt their breasts and their <laughs> Disgusting their bodies very everywhere. The, with each passing year, we get more slutty. Slutatious. Slutatious. Would say. Much more slutatious. slutatious. Youth. And it's disgusting because at the age of 11 or 12, I liked boy bands and I had the posters on my wall and I was very conservative. And I didn't even know what a lot of these things were. That when girls are giving oral sex and sodomizing boys in middle school bathrooms, there is a problem. And is this growing epidemic elsewhere? Tell us, please. <laughs> Basically, what we want to accomplish with this blog is, as we discussed, a Seinfeld-like mentality, mm -hmm. where we talk about everyday subjects <laughs> and just get them out on the table. And hope that there's some commentary of relation or just comments in general or some explanations so it's why, why we hope People you can relate, and just you know give us some feedback. But one more thing about Lancaster is that there is a gang in Lancaster called the Lancaster Kings. 